S G A. Walks down Luca and Kyrie in their house. Obviously not just by himself, but he was the main culprit of this quote-unquote comeback by the Thunder. And they are headed home, tied two games apiece. And the Mavs have no one but themselves to blame. They missed a lot of free throws. They made some dumb plays down the stretch. I thought Luca was absolutely awful. Had seven turnovers, six of 20 from the field. Um, just an awful game from Luca. Then you add to it that Kyrie was not able to find his offense and PJ Washington cooled off after another great start to this game. And the Mavericks just were unable to generate a good offense because Luca was just bad and Kyrie was not aggressive early on. And when he got aggressive, it looked like he didn't have enough energy from all the defense he's been playing, from all the distributing he's been doing. He just didn't have enough energy for his offense, it looked like to me. And the Thunder methodically, calmly, for a young team, uh, stick to their strategies, even though they couldn't hit a you know, shot from the three-point line. They were 7 of 27. They did, you know, strengthen on the rebounding and shave it eight rebounds. Chet and Jalen Williams did eight rebounds. Ludor did eight rebounds. They did much better on the rebounding and today, uh, which was necessary because they were getting crushed early on when it looked like the Dallas Mavericks were going to run away with it at home. And... Uh, SGA, you know, he knew the paint was packed, the Mavericks were defending beautifully, and he got to his mid-range spots and made them pay. 14 of 27, took 27 shots, which was very much needed, and got to his spots, and he, you know, with the game, with the way the game was going, the mid-rangers were enough, right? Because the Mavericks got cold in the second half, and the mid-rangers were more, more than enough to pull them back in, you got two timely three balls from Lou Dort. Chad hit a clutch three-pointer. He was really good today offensively. And, uh, you know, defensively four blocks today. And Jalen Williams made some clutch plays. And here you go, headed home. 2-2. Two -two. Kaysen Wallace, ice in his veins. I would start him because he he was sensational down the stretch. And uh, he had no fear in him and made two clutch three-pointers that were so just so huge in this game, especially with the way, you know, the offenses were going and Thunder not being able to hit anything from the outside. They kept their best three-point shooting uh, for last, where they were four of eight in the fourth quarter, um, which was obviously, obviously huge. And now the thing is, right, Dallas defensively, great. Luca defensively was also pretty solid. Kyrie has been playing great defensively. The paint has so many good length bodies. They've been blocking shots all over the place. Uh, and now, you know, <laughs> you need your star players to just give you the offense that they were giving you all year. And Kyrie and Luca combined for 28 points. That's the game right there, right? If Luca plays just average, they win this game by a landslide. If he even actually plays, you know, not average, but below average, they probably win this game. But he was bad. He was just bad offensively. Really bad turnovers, really bad shot selection. And he couldn't make his, you know, parented shots. And Kyrie, I thought he got kind of unlucky on some of those shots, but some of it had to be from being tired from, you know, playing so much good defense because they've been really aggressive defensively and they've been just... Uh, incredible defensively, but it takes away some of the energy you had for the offensive end on both sides. Uh, on obviously both sides, I mean by, uh, you know, on both these players in Luka and Kyrie. And obviously we know about all the injuries and everything, of course. Don't get me wrong, but... But... Dallas just kind of gave this one away. I don't know what to tell you. They let the young Thunder team with Shea walk them down mid-range by mid-range. Uh, allowed them to get opportunities off of those Luka turnovers especially and they always made some bad mistakes or bad shot or a miss shot that turned into a good thing for the Thunder and then the Thunder took the lead and the Mavs just didn't have enough and it's all on Luka and Kyrie to me I know PJ Washington shot 7 of 19 but I mean he He's been giving you everything you will, will, you could ask for. Derrick Jones gave you everything you could ask for offensively today. Uh, Gafford and Lively gave you all you could ask for defensively. And Luca and Kyrie just didn't deliver. At the end of the day, that's the day. That's the thing. Uh, 
And Shea, on the other hand, delivered offensively, right? He was so sensational. He's been the best player in this series without a question. And their young guys were clutch, right? Ludort, clutch from the corner. Chet, clutch from the corner. Jalen Williams, clutch shots uh, in the fourth quarter, even though he was awful most of the game offensively. And there you go. You're headed to OKC, tied 2-2. And Luka can complain all he wants. It's because of him and, you know, his play mostly, I would say. And maybe it's all about the injuries for him. I don't know, but all I can tell you is Luka's been, you know, bad. Obviously, the plus minus tells you the, you know, the bench was not great. Uh, Josh Green had some rough minutes, I would argue, for sure. But don't X actually gave them some good minutes and Tim Hardaway did his part offensively when you think about it. But the main culprit was Luca, even though he was a plus one, quote unquote. But the turnovers were awful. The shot selection was awful. Uh, and six of 20. Shit, it speaks for itself. And now we go back to OKC. This could be a backbreaker for Dallas because they had this game in their hand. They were up for most of the game. They looked like they were cruising to victory for three quarters of this. It, didn't feel like, you know, it was close for most of this game, or it never, to me, throughout the first three quarters, felt like the Thunder had a chance to win this game. And then they just surgically, mid-range by mid-range, came back. Shea, like I said, was just incredible. All-around incredible fourth quarter, and all-around incredible game. And every single guy from the Thunder stepped up. They were finally able to knock down some three-pointers that the... Uh, uh, Mavs were begging them to try. And there you go. Obviously, their biggest thing is they need to get rid of Josh Giri. Just send him home, man. You don't need him. Just send him home. He's useless out there. He's just useless out there. Completely useless. Uh, awful player. Just send him home. Start Case and Wallace. Uh, and ride with all the other young guys. And we'll see what happens. Shout out to the Thunder, man. That was such a grown man game by them. When you, you know, look at their age and everything with the way they surgically walked down the maps and stayed pretty calm throughout all the struggles they had offensively today. Stuck with it, defended as honestly as they could. And the shots started falling in the fourth quarter. Their superstar played like a superstar. And now you're headed home. Home court is once again theirs. And they have this series, you know, the momentum shifted back to them. We'll see how Luka responds. Uh, because I think as long as Luca shows up, the Mavs should win this, right? As long as Luca shows up, the Mavs should be able to win this with the way the defense has been humming and PJ Washington has been shooting. You just need Luca to be Luca, in my opinion. Maybe it would not be enough to beat Denver, but it looks like it would be enough to beat the Thunder for sure. Um, so that is that. Um... Not much more else to add by me. It's a really weird game in a way. It was a fun game, don't get me wrong. It was really fun to see the Thunder do, do what they did, but just a backbreaker for the, for the Mavs. Uh, anyway, thank you all for listening, for watching Game 5s tonight. Both series tied to 2, you know, I'll be covering it tomorrow. And then, obviously, on Wednesday, we back, we're back with this series. So, uh, yeah, as always, we can't trust to others. Stay on your morals, we can't. And hey, uh, just, just be man. That's all. All of, of all of us ever need, man. That's all the power we have. Love you all. Self love.